I'm Andy Lenkaitis. I'm a AMS Herd Management Systems Engineer with GIA. I've been with the company about 15 years and I have the unique role to help farmers transition from conventional to automated milking systems. So I get the opportunity to help them as they make an investment in their farm and transition to a new milking center. Uh, we're here today at a dairy farm in the Northeast US to go over their retrofit installation of five GIA R9500 robots. Hi, my name is Charles Zimmerman. I work here on my parents' family farm at Skull Hill Dairy. We milk 280 cows with the Gia R9500s and everything is family run here. So here at this farm they were previously milking in a parallel parlor, uh, Mag90i uh, from Gia. Uh, they were looking for opportunities to improve their efficiency of milking, improve the consistency and help with labor costs and really the, the idea was to transition to robots. And so within the transition, they wanted to use their existing freestall facility that they built 20 years ago and retrofit five Gia R9500s onto the outside of it. By retrofitting, they're able to spend less time physically milking the cows and spend more time using the information in front of them to manage their herd of animals. They're able to gain efficiencies by having a consistent milking process throughout, have a little less labor on the farm to do those uh, daily milkings, really just give them more opportunity to spend time with their animals and make the best decisions for them. The process when we first started this before we went to look at a robot, date night was me and my wife in a living room with YouTube videos on the TV. We went and looked at three different kinds of robots. The Gia was the last one we looked at. My father and my mother and my son and his girlfriend went and they came back and told me it's going to be a Gia. Just the speed and everything and they didn't miss a teat the whole time we were there. Uh, part of the challenge with a retrofit like this is using your existing facilities to the best that they can. So here we're standing in front of three other boxes on one side of the barn. On the other side of the barn they have two similar boxes laid out along the edge or outside row of the barn. This allowed them to build the, the barn to do the construction process while they were continuing to milk cows in their existing parlor facility. It also gave the cows a chance to get used to the equipment, used to the gating and everything as they built the process up. For startup and training the cows we're able to Take a weekend before milking, puts the cows through, get them used to all the new equipment and facilities, and really make for a smooth transition when we converted from milking in the parlor to milking in the robots. Additionally, by doing this type of setup, they're able to create more of a management pen. So they have a separation area, so cows can come into this area, they're able to exit through the sort gate, and that dictates whether they need to come back in here and be milked, go out to general population, or go to the separation area. So I'm here in the R9500 looking at the drive unit and the, the cluster itself here. So when the cluster comes underneath the cow, all four quarters are gonna drop down, and then individually, each quarter is gonna pick up one by one to go on the teat of that animal. Once the, the liner attaches to the, the teat, then we go through our inline or everything process. We start by doing a teat prep of that quarter, by doing our pre-dip, our air, and then our stimulation to get that teat clean and get it properly stimulated for good milking. We go through our milk analysis and pre-milk, and then we go into our milk harvest, where we quickly and efficiently harvest the milk from that quarter. Once we're done harvesting milk, the sensors determine that quarter is, is complete. We're gonna go through an air sweep to clean out the remaining milk in the lines, and then go into our dip process to apply post-dip right to the barrel of that teat while it's fully stretched out in the liner. The liner comes off, spreads that post-dip around very nicely, and that quarter is done milking. Once all four quarters are done, we're gonna go back into our, our position here and move this cluster back underneath the cow into our CIP position where it's disinfected for the next cow to come in and milk. I'd say the thing that impresses me most about the R9500 is the quick box times. We're a little over six minutes right now. We're at 28.6 pounds per visit, hoping to go up in the future. If I could describe the robot more word, it's impressive how everything works. There's a lot of areas the R9500 can impact as far as the efficiency, the cow comfort, the quality, the, the labor savings. I mean, any automated system has their advantages, uh, but I really think the R9500 with the inliner, everything, the, the quick attach time, the quick box times, quick milk out, and just that consistency of the process from cow to cow to cow really makes it uh, one of the best products on the market and really just drives home the point that we built this machine to milk cows and it does an excellent job at that. Gia itself has been great. I've called all different kinds of people and they've all been great to work with. Everybody probably thinks with a robot, they're so complicated, so hard to work on, and once you actually start doing it, they're not as bad as you think to work on. 
that you can just slide a module out, put another module in and keep going, that I like. That would probably be the best thing that stands out. You don't have to tear apart the whole machine to fix something. The biggest thing the robot saved us so far is labor cost. As soon as all the cows are trained and everything is going more smoothly, we will have more family time too. You know, we'd love to be able to go out and build a new, new barn at every farm we work with, but we also know that we can make some really interesting and unique retrofits to fit the family situation. And this is just another example of what we're able to do here with this facility with the Gia R9500s.